Hi and welcome back. So a study out of Japan has shown that centenarians have a different biological makeup to the rest of the general population. Enough waffling of me, let's jump into the presentation and let's see what this difference is. This is a review of a study I read that was penned by Claire Watson, where she covers a study that was published in the journal Nature, which looked into the specific differences that centenarians have in their gut microbiome when it was compared to that of the general population. And there are links in the description below to the studies and to the articles I used to put this presentation together. Living to be older than 100 is indeed a rare feat for any human being. This study has shown that, in part, centenarians could have their gut microbiome to thank. The study of Japanese people who lived over a century found they harbor distinct groups of bacteria in their gut, which generate unique compounds and might even ward off infections and other environmental stressors. Centenarians, generally speaking, are less inclined to suffer from age-related diseases and are somehow capable of thwarting infectious diseases too. This study now seems to show that the gut microbiome, that's the billions with a B of microorganisms living in our digestive tract, could also explain the reason why. Many people still think the secret to a long life is written in our genes and only in our genes, with stories of relatives who smoked heavily from the age of 14 and lived to be well over 101. But we now know that genetics accounts for less than 30% of our longevity. This then leaves the door wide open to many other factors, some of which we can control and that change over time, such as a healthy diet, high quality sleep, regular quality exercise, meaningful social interaction, and that's not scrolling through social media, and now also our billions of gut bacteria. So getting back to the study, let's take a look at the cohort. The researchers recruited 160 centenarians from across all of Japan who had racked up an impressive average age of 107 years. They then compared the bacterial communities found in their fecal samples to other bacterial communities from another 112 elderly people who were in their late 80s and also to those of 47 younger people. The researchers, led by microbiologist Yuko Sato from the Keio University School of Medicine in Tokyo, were looking for differences in their gut microbiomes. That's to say, the types of bacterial species present and then the sorts of compounds they produce. Previous studies in centenarians conducted in Sardinia in Italy found that people aged over 100, when compared to younger people, had a higher diversity of core microbiota living in their intestines. So by studying the gut microbiome and then agreeing on what a healthy one looks like, the researchers may be able to find ways to change the bacterial communities or correct certain imbalances, which may help prevent diseases and improve health in other people. Now this sounds simple enough, but your gut microbiome is a big beast that's extremely complex and also very sensitive too. Previous studies have shown that changes in diet can rapidly alter the composition of the gut in a matter of days by promoting certain species over others. So a poor choice of diet could well increase the wrong bacterial species. That said, centenarians are an extreme example of healthy aging. So these people must be doing something right to live for so long. While some of the centenarians in this Japanese study showed some signs of aging, such as low level inflammation, the researchers reported in their paper that the majority of the centenarians were free of chronic diseases, such as obesity, diabetes, hypertension, and cancer. The total bile acid load was no different between the groups, but the centenarians had a unique mix of bile acids, thanks to a handful of bacterial strains that could synthesize them. 
On further inspection, one group of bacteria stood out. This particular strain reliably produced a type of bile acid called isoallolithocholic acid, known as isoallolca. The researchers wrote that over the course of one to two years, notably both faecal acid profile and the microbial community type of centenarians were generally stable between longitudinal samples. But unfortunately, the study didn't account for other lifestyle factors such as diet. So we can't say exactly what contributed to their unique microbiome profile. In further experiments, Dr. Sato and her colleagues showed that isoallo LCA could also inhibit the growth of lab cultured Clostridium difficile, known as C. difficile, a common gut bacteria that causes severe diarrhea and serious inflammation of the colon. And when mice infected with C. difficile were dosed with the bile producing strains previously identified in the centenarian's gut, the treatment did reduce the amount of C. difficile shed in the mouse droppings to below detectable levels, which implies that it did help them ward off the infection. The researchers concluded that isoallo LCA producing species could be used to help maintain good gut health into old age. They wrote, to our knowledge, isoallo LCA is one of the most potent antimicrobial agents selective against gram-positive microbes, including multidrug resistant pathogens. Now, while these lab experiments do help explain how the bacterial species found in centenarians could offer some protection against infections, other experts are more cautious about the results. Professor Kim Barrett at the University of California, San Diego, who was not involved in the study said, like many studies that seek to implicate specific microbiome signatures with particular conditions in humans, as yet the work mostly reveals correlations rather than causality. Professor Barrett did go on to say, on the other hand, bile acids are emerging as a new class of intestinal hormones that appear to do more than just aid fat digestion and absorption. It is certainly conceivable that manipulating concentrations of specific bile acids, whether microbial or by give them directly, could exert health benefits. However, probiotic treatments containing live bacteria thought to confer health benefits have had varying results of success so far. So far more research is needed before we can expect a bacteria packed pill for longevity. That said, there are plenty of other things that have been linked to a long life that we can all try to implement now. Things such as high quality sleep, regular quality exercise, meaningful social interactions, and of course, a healthy diet. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Um, so as the old adage goes, you are what you eat. Um, and some of you may know I've moved recently to the Philippines. I'm looking for somewhere where I can have my three monthly blood test taken. So I've been looking at clinics and hospitals in the local area and also down uh, near the bigger city. Um, I found a hospital that does offer an executive health check. Uh, and funnily enough, in line with this particular um, presentation, they offer a stool sample analysis. So it'd be interesting to see what's going on down there. And I, of course, I will, although some of you may not want to see it, I will, of course, share my results with you.